Welcome to hole number one of the Players' Championship here on TPC Sawgrass PGA Course. Now, playing here aggressively because this is not a very long hole. I'm going to bring a power five ball here in any wind condition. Playing it with maximum topspin and at least two bars or as much as you've got of right spin. I'm going to push this one up to max. As you might have saw there, uh, excuse me, I'm going to make a 10% max adjustment. Now I will push it up to max. That's max distance. And we're going to give this one max over power and almost half a ball of right curl. Depending on the wind angle here is going to depend on the exact amount of curl. But all things considered, you want to get this one down this fairway as, as far as possible. And you'll see here in this example... You're going to get very, very, very close to the green. Even if you're further back and you can get yourself into like short iron thorn range or something like that, I think it's going to give you a really good advantage to get yourself close to the eagle. So this is the end bringer method. You can see here I'm roughly at about 65 or 70 percent distance. That's what that little grid on the left is for. I've got 20 percent uh, elevation and then at 65 percent slider. And if you're interested in this grid on the screen, it's because I've jailbroken my iPad and I used a little program called Gridder to, to make that happen. So there are videos on my channel about the, the main iPad grids, but all things considered, get in the hole. Good luck in the tournament. Hole number two on this beautiful new course is played for me here very very simply just in front of this first bunker that white ring is kind of close there as a bit of a reference i'm going to use two bars of backspin as sort of a base guideline here and i'm just going to set this one up leaving it a few green squares short of the hole because of course i don't have much ball guide use your long iron that's got good ball guide if you've got a high level grizzly going to be an excellent choice here 10 percent mid on this pole is roughly where I've been finding the most success. Of course, with this crosswind, or if you have a headwind or tailwind, you just don't know for sure until you play it live in the tournament. But this one, as you can see, comes in very close. Just needed to be a tiny bit closer to the hole there. Hole number three. This part five is actually a pretty good chance for Albi here from the front tee. I've got an EM6, as you can see, and a Titan. And I'm just looking around, thinking about my options. But I set this one up here just with one bar of backspin and one bar of right spin, which you didn't need the right spin. Just one bar of back would have been fine. And you could actually play a bar of left spin to be a little further left on the fairway. As you can see, I'm aiming at that gap. It's going to bring us a nice straight shot to the pin. So nothing crazy here. Clean 10% max layup. And second shot, you're going to see in a moment, we're going to play it with the sniper. So just get this one down to the end. And you'll see here why we don't quite need that right spin. You don't need to be so close to the side of the rough, but it's not a problem if you are. 319 yards puts us in beautiful range to be very, very close to that max distance sniper. At first, I thought I'd be too short. And these, these roughs, that bump there is not happening. Not for me. Not unless you play it way further back with way better clubs. But if I play this one up at, see how glitchy it is? I'm like, no, there's no, 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 no. Playing it at max here. Five bars of backspin is what we end up settling on here. And you'll see, especially with this wind, I mean, this is a very, very good look at it. I do have a little tick of right spin on there. Uh, that wasn't actually intentional. So, you know, you can copy that or make your own little spin set depending on your setup. However, from this spot, I do play 10% max. And you'll see for yourself how darn close this one comes in if you guys like these videos please don't forget to drop a comment on the video let me know what you think how you think they are what you like what you don't like i'm always striving to be better and just get those ones in we'll drop them in the tourney for sure Hole number four, this is another reachable par four and one that you really need to capitalize on. I set up here just with the power one ball and my extra mile. I, I give this one, now I give it four and a half top and one left spin. And there's some tight margins here. I don't like having the yellow ring quite so close and clipping onto the rough. Um, but you're going to see here, if you play this shot cleanly, 10% max, I chose to push it there into the wind. I don't know why, but nothing crazy, no overpower, no nonsense. You really just need to set it up correctly and hit perfect. And this one comes in beautifully running in underneath the tree there, 
coming on down and settling so close to the pin and just nicely here on the fairway. You can see that slope down the side of the fairway, so don't get too close to it. This one is a tough course. This is a real deal in the real world after all. So you could play the thorn shot there in headwind, would be smart, but I do like this end bringer and I decide to give it the top spin here. Three and a half top, tiny little bit of left spin, and I give it just a bit of room to adjust. Now I am playing this one 20% max numbers. It's an end bringer three so i probably should be playing it at 15 and because i'm at max i play it at 20. if you have a high level end bringer now first of all you'll reach a little bit further but you might want to play this at 25 so play around with it check it out of the tournament but i'm telling you this is one of the ones we need to drop i think there's going to be some low scores in this tournament uh i'm really looking forward to it i really had a lot of fun a lot of fun making this video for you Hole number five is all about the drive. I play four and a half top, two bars of left spin here with the extra mile and a Titan. Now you'll see here, once again, 10% max is gonna be the adjustment. I have this one set up with the yellow ring just touching the rough and that ball guide ever so close to the right rough. However, I'm looking ahead and trying to get this one further down the fairway because once again, this is a very good opportunity if you can get the drive straight. I give it about 25% or so over power and just about outer wall left curl because you're going to see we're going to try to finesse this one through the gap. So click close to the rough and close here as well. But just like that puts us in a perfect position here for the second shot. Now this par uh, par five, excuse me, it's a new course. Let's look at the Albi chance here, okay? So now we're coming at it with a thorn. So this is right at max distance. I pull it back to approximately mid but I calculated after the shot that I probably should have played it at 10 max numbers anyway. So you're seeing a mid pull, but I recommend going with 10 max as far as the numbers are. As well, I played three and a half bars of backspin here and just a little bit of tweaking in the tournament. This should be an albatross all day and every day. The Players' Championship is playing, I think, in rookie anyway. We're going to play really, really good scores here. So you got to bring your A game. Don't be afraid to use a couple of special balls. And, you know, whatever you've got in the bag to get it done. I know, Matt, this is first tee, whatever. I don't tell you how to handle your balls, boys. Ooh, so close, but we'll save the highlights for TikTok. Hole number six. Now, I feel like I owe you guys a drop here. Navigator and a backbone. You're going to play this one at 20% max. Two bars of backspin. That's it. Watch here. We're going to bring it down just before the green. And this is not a lot of rough bumps in this course. I found this to be very much the bounce shot tournament. So if you're my friend, David Harris, let's go Shinobi. This should be the one for you. Now, 10, 20% max. Like I said, this one is a really good opportunity. Such a straightforward par three. Guys, if you like the video, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and help me reach my goal of 10,000 subscribers. We'll try to get there with some hole-in-ones. Good luck, everybody. Hole number seven. Now, I absolutely have to show you two ways to play. I'm laying this up here with five bars of backspin. That's important. You need it. And three bars of left spin. Using the katana ball and a quarterback or a rock, anything with good accuracy here. I had the blue ring on the rough at the left, and we're just going to play this one 10% max and get it down there. I might have actually played it one to one, and in low levels, that's totally fine to play your quarterback on almost every situation like that. So this is, of course, a conservative layup. Um, I think you'll enjoy the second uh, approach as well. However, from 270 yards, we're going to be playing here very close to a max thorn. Once again, I think the par fours in this course are going to be instrumental in locking down the score that you need for that banner. Two and a half bars of backspin here and about one, uh, I was going to say one left, but one thorn club would be just fine. Two and a half back, no side spin really necessary. Um, and this one gives us a beautiful look at it. I think, you know, this course, you know, it takes a beautiful, iconic PGA course and brings it into golf class so, so perfectly. So I'm really happy with the partnership that's been laid with the PGA Tour. I think this is going to make for such incredible content for all of us in the game and this community. So don't forget to spend some time and check it out and enjoy it. You now, yes, I hit great, but you can see for yourself, this one's going to put you where you need to be. Hole number seven, once again, now, even if you have a level one or two APOC here, max top, max three bars of side spin left, and bring the kingmaker. We're going to get this one very, very close to the hole. 
10% max on the pull here. You always need max left curl. I had a perfect right to left crosswind. I used a kingmaker. I tried it with a big topper. Came very, very close, but you really need this curl to get it over there. Hit perfect. It's going to be very helpful. And I think you're going to understand why I included this in the video as well. Because for many, many players, we've got low level apox. We don't normally give them much value until you pull off a shot like that in the tournament. So give that one a grip and a rip, and uh, I wish you the best of getting this one in the hole. Hole number eight, this par five is actually quite difficult because of this drive. Now, I think APOC here again would be the play, um, but I didn't want to push my luck in this video, okay? So I'm going to show you something where I'm doing like an intentional second bounce rough bump to get this one to clip out into the fairway. So I give it four and a half top, three bars of left spin. You're gonna see I'm setting it up and eyeing where that max distance would be. Make sure you have your app set correctly. Power two ball settings here. I make my 10% max adjustment pull and now no push up, max over power. This is max left curl. And you'll see how I'm trying to kind of get this one to land in the corner, if you will. And if you can get it to bounce over, so be it. But clipping this rough here, what I found is just fine because look how beautifully it sets us up for the second shot. Now, second shot here, the longer the better. But if you're coming in from around 354 with a long iron, you're going to be quite close to max distance there. This one actually, again, is close to mid. I probably should have played the max numbers, okay? So I played two bars of backspin here and... You know, you be the judge. This one actually in this kind of wind might actually play pretty well with a one-to-one -one adjustment as well. So 2.9 would be max, um, excuse me, 3.0. And then I think I pull here 2.6 at mid. So let's have a little look if I remember correctly. And if I'm wrong, well, you'll be the best. Yeah, so 2.6, maybe I even went 2.7. Uh, I think having a little bit more here would have been ideal, but all in all, this is going to be another good opportunity for an albatross once we get those tournament conditions dialed in not very far yet needed just a couple points more i'll see you on the icon iconic ninth hole hole number nine set up here with a navigator and whatever long iron will give you at least five bars of backspin there's going to be maybe a sand bump played here in higher levels but five back one left here from the front tee i think this is going to be a great way to go now, not the nicest setup we've ever had, but this hole was never designed to be easy, was it? 20% here seems to be coming in very, very nicely. This is a bit of a hill we're landing on, so that's where I found a bit of inconsistency in getting this one to sort of land evenly. I think a bigger backspin setup might be the trick here, playing closer to the to pin, but you'll see how this one comes in. Guys, good luck in the Players' Championship. Join the channel and join those live streams. Good luck, good luck. Thank you so much for watching.